Coming up now, we have the final of the Junior Girls Doubles. Please welcome, from China, Huang Fangzhen and Xi Shen Yao. And their opponents, from Japan, Miyu Kihara and Yumeno Soma. The umpires for this match will be Avril Roberts of Australia and Sean Coe of Singapore. Well, here we are for the Junior Girls Doubles Final between China and Japan. The combination of Huang Fan Zen and Shi Shun Yao playing Miyuki Hara and Yumeno Soma. Yumeno Soma and Ki Kihara just very young. Kihara, 14 years of age. Soma, 16 years of age. On the other side, Shi Shun Yao, we've seen out on court many times today already. The number one seed in the singles and just 17 years of age. And Huang Fan Zhen, the oldie out there at 18 years old. Interestingly, Kihara and Soma are the number five seeds for this event. And probably favourites on paper, but for me, gee, Shi Shun Yao has shown us today that she is an absolute champion out there, going for three titles, already securing the mixed doubles title, looking here for the women's, uh, for the girls' doubles title, and she is also in the singles final. So Shi Shun Yao and Huang Fan Zhen up against the Japanese pair of Miyu Kihara and Yumeno Soma. So players now out and uh, just deciding on the toss. So umpire Avril Roberts there just deciding who's going to serve first. The Japanese pair very amused, They're very happy, having a good little giggle. Just checking Avril Roberts, just checking that the players have their names on their backs, which is a stipulation of the regulations now and now they're into their two-minute warm-up so on screen there Shi Shun Yao we've seen plenty of her number one seed in the singles she's already taken the mixed doubles title and her partner Huang Fan Zhen 18 years of age and there is the umpire Avril Roberts just getting things organized and the assistant umpire, Sean Coe from Singapore. See, Huang just wiping the table, make sh making sure everything's right. Gee, they are a happy pair, the Japanese pair. I suppose at 14 and 16, why wouldn't you be happy being out here on the table in a world championship final? World championship for the junior girls doubles so Mukihara was the winner of the under 21 event at the, on the world tour the Korean Open and also in 2016 won the under 15 world cadet challenge and her partner Yumeno Soma 16 years of age She's a chopper, so uh, defensive player. She's got short pimple rubber on the forehand and inverted rubber on the backhand. A little bit different. But she's also had her share of titles. Player's now ready to play. Japan is going to serve. And Kihara serving first. We'll see Kihara, the attacking player of this combination, Soma, the defensive player. No. So it'll make for an interesting match, see how they, how the Chinese combination cope with the different styles. And that 
one just missing. So it's one all now. So in doubles, things change very quickly. Two points, we've got a new combination of server, receiver. And in this game, we've got an attacker, defender. So it's all happening. And you would think that Shi Xun Yao will, be, will try to dominate this match here. Tony! You saw Shi Xun Yao play against Soma earlier today. And she seemed to handle the defensive style very comfortably. The Chinese pair. Getting vocal, getting pumped, they're 4-2 up. So these teams played faced off against each other in the junior girls teams final as well. No doubles in the team's event, only singles. This is their first meeting at this tournament in doubles. Just feeling each other, seeing what they have. Kihara, the attacker. Soma, the defender. So she is receiving from uh, the chopper here, from Soma. She would have, she's had plenty of practice returning these balls earlier in the day. And it looks like it. She didn't miss many in the singles. Is there looking on? So coaches looking for a little things that they can see, some some tactics that they might be able to pick up, might be able to change something. So now in table tennis, the coaches are allowed to talk or yell out to the players in between points. Fairly new innovation in table tennis. Previously, the coaches were only allowed to communicate with their players in between games or at timeouts, but now they can communicate with them during the match, as long as they don't interrupt the match. They can't stop the match and say, hang on a tick, I need to tell you this. So the Chinese pair still ahead, 8-6. Kihara just getting... Confirmation of what type of return. And again, she, the aggressor. Have a look at this forehand by Shi Shun Yao. Classic technique, classic action. Ah, and there's the return from Kihara. Flicking the ball away with a bit of side spin out wide. Kihara serving now. 7 9, still in this. Soma struggling with the, the power of Shi Shun Yao. So Shi Shun Yao. And Wang Fan Zen take the first game, 11-7. So the Japanese pair going over to their coach, thinking about what can we do to change things up here. It'll be a different combination this time, so 
Uh, on the positive side for the Japanese team, Soma will be hitting to Huang, which might be better for them because Shi Shun Yao was just coping with all of those defensive balls from Soma very easily. Let's see if uh, when Soma hits to Huang, she can get a bit more effect, a few more errors perhaps out of her. Uh, just 10 seconds left on the clock, so one minute in between games. Chinese combination there. You can see the players also having a bit of input, talking to each other, talking to the coach. The coach giving just their final instructions now. And the umpire now is called time, so the players will need to come back to the court. So players now readying themselves for the game two of this Junior Girls Doubles Final. World title on the line. So Wang serving first. She will serve to Chiara. Well, Wang seemed to handle that uh, defensive Soma pretty well there on that first point. And strong by Kihara. Good top spin ball. Soma encouraging her, saying, that was nice. More of those would be good. from Huang, so maybe a little bit of a, an opening there for the Japanese pair. Oh, but when you've got Xi on your side, that is a powerful finish from Xi. Have a look at this backhand. Bang! Not an easy ball to play unless you're Shi Shun Yao. So just uh, going over to the towel, there must have been a little bit of moisture on their bat. And uh, yeah, just wiping that off, but yeah, after six points, players are allowed to towel. Discussion. What am I going to do? Just keeping the Japanese pair waiting. Strong play by both pairs here. Look at that backhand by Huang. Said. Wow. <laughs> this is the backhand fest. Nakihara in the action. And then I've got a forehand as well to go, go along with it, says Kihara. Soma likes it. Keeping them in this second game. Dragging that into the net. Awkward ball. Lots of spin, dipping. Oh. Gee, this this Chinese combination looks strong, don't they? I mean they're they're just able to follow up each other. Big top spin followed by another big top spin. And that's a good serve. Forcing the error from she. She didn't like it. Said, this is how I want to do it. Really 
reassuring yourself now. Still with a two-point lead. So you see that the, the server's partner always signals. So yes, yeah, so the service partner signals the type of serve that they want the server to do. Because they're the ones responsible for the next ball. There you'll see Huang taking initiative there. And that was a lot of spin on this ball. Have a look at this one from Kiara. Just a lot of spin and you see how much that ball dips and swerves and it's really hard to handle. Even too hot for she. Seven all. And Huang doing really well against the defensive play of Soma. She knows she doesn't need to hit that ball hard just getting that ball on the table because she's got she as a partner that's a great backhand Tihara's really stepped up in this game Another strong point from Chinese pair. Remember this Japanese pair, just 14 and 16 years old. Another good topspin ball, and that's hard keep that ball on the table. When the ball's rotating so fast with that amount of spin and it hits the table, it can do a lot of different things. That one kept a little bit lower and now it's two game points. And that's game two to China. China leading two games to love. There you see Huang and Shi, 11-7 and 11-8 against Kihara and Soma. This is a best of five final. China one game away. You can see here the combination of topspin and topspin by these strong Chinese players. And then that backhand from Shi was strong. Good combinations by these pairs. It's relentless. Relentless attacking. Wang and Shi out to a two games to love lead. And plenty of Chinese support in the crowd. Japanese pair. Pensive, thinking. Coming back out onto the court. So players now ready for game three in this Junior Girls Doubles Final the World Junior Table Tennis Championships. Coming up next, the Junior Boys Doubles Final. Well, a rare error from Shi Shun Yao. Oh. Now she's back on track with a little yell of excitement of winning the point. Wow, wow, wow. 
That is such a strong backhand topspin to finish this rally by Xi. Have a look at it. So powerful. So much spin. So much speed. And Kiara just can't handle it. So matter surf. Oh, and a little bit of side spin there by Shi, just throwing Kihara off her game. Tricky little ball. More power, she. I like the little fist pump she does when she pleased with her stroke. So 4-2, and it's a timeout from Japan. Getting to that critical stage. So Japanese pair go back to their coach. What can we change? What can we do to stop this juggernaut? Power. Look at the power from these Chinese players. Just bang, bang. Oh, not that time. So for me, I think Japanese pair needs to just put a little bit more pressure if they can. So Kihara needs to make some stronger balls. Maybe Soma needs to stay a little bit closer. Maybe block a ball. Maybe float a couple more balls try to set Kiara up with a bigger attack. Maybe Soma's talking there about hitting some backhands. Let's see. But it's about Kiara and Soma just trying to take some time pressure on onto Xi and Huang. At the moment, Xi and Huang are just have a little bit too much time, a little bit too much of a swing at the ball all the time. So players now ready after the timeout. 4-2. Japan now needs to turn things around. They have a chance at this title. A little bit of luck helps. Trying a few different things. A bit of a side spin ball there by Kiara. Oh, and luck going the other way this time. Wang just getting the edge. Oh, oh such power. I mean, that's not easy to do. That, that ball's coming fairly low, but she is just, just so powerful with that forehand. That's a let. Trying to keep that ball nice and low. And that's the small margins that Kihara has to work with. Uh, that was good serve. Set Soma up. Soma did try that backhand attack, and I think... That's what needs to happen. She does need to attack a few balls, throw off the rhythm of she. And she just putting her hand up, the ball just clipped the net on the way through, just acknowledging the little bit of luck. So 9 3. Flying away. Xi Xunyao and Huang Fan Zhen on the brink. And now, just one point away. 10 3. Well, an error. 
a rare error in this match for the Chinese pair. Keeps the Japanese pair alive for a little longer. 10 4, 6 match and championship points. And 5. Or do they take the timeout? It's been three points in a row. No, they're still confident. Kihara to serve. And Soma's backhand goes long, and there's the title the Junior Girls Doubles. Championship goes to Shi Shun Yao and Huang Fang Zhen. Three games to love. 11 7, 11 8, 11 6. And that was almost a faultless display from these players on screen. Huang Fang Zhen held up her end of the deal. Shi Shun Yao, powerful. She was. Awesome as we've seen all day. Just absolutely devastating with both her forehand and backhand. Coach there talking to Wang. Should be pleased with Wang's effort. Was able to to back up Shi, was able to handle the defense of Soma, was able to handle the attack of Kihara. And that was just a three game to nil. 7-8-6 victory, but they just always, always looked in control. And let's just have a look at how powerful this Chinese pair was. Just able to attack at every opportunity and just keep the Japanese pair under pressure the whole match. Didn't matter what the Japanese pair threw at them. Wang and Xi were up to the task. Attack. More attack. And devastating attack. So the Junior Girls World Doubles Championship goes to China.